It's lunchtime. I'm gonna make a mushroom burger. First, four bell caps. y'all so this is not something that I've shown on my channel before and I'm doing this and it's kind of like a lifestyle thing that I've incorporated over the past like two and a half years so I figured I'll just show you what it is that I do and it has to do with me um, rinsing my produce and I just wanted to show you what comes off of this produce when I rinse it in 11.5 high alkalized water Okay, so as you can see, there's already quite a bit of coloration to this water, and that's actually, oh, there's a hair. <laughs> that's actually because of what's coming off of this. Um, I can't, you know, conclusively say that this is pesticides or atrazine. However, I know that it's not going into my body and that it, these, this produce was coated with it. So now I'm going to show you. And there's definitely some stuff in there that is not going in my body. Okay, just for comparison and color so that you could see the difference, this is obviously clear water. Um, there's molecular hydrogen in there, so you might see tiny bubbles, that's what that is. So let me pour this into this glass. It's gonna make a mess, I already know. And look at that difference. That's actually terrifying. <laughs> I'm gonna be building something that I have needed for a while, <laughs> pretty much since we moved into this house. And I have books on the floor, like piled up. And that's been like my way of storing my books. And at first it was kind of cool and different. Now I really would just like to get them off of the floor and into like a real designated place. So I bought some shelves and I'm gonna build some shelves and uh, I'm gonna take you guys along with me on the journey of building that. And I also actually ordered a new desk for myself because the one that I currently have is literally a fold out desk um, that people probably use for like when they sit in front of a couch and eat dinner. So. I'm gonna give that one to my son for him to just use. I'm also gonna create like a little office space in his room so he can have his own space to do like his schoolwork and stuff because he is homeschooled. So yeah, gonna create a designated space for that for him because we've just been sharing this little corner and this little desk and it's just um, time for an upgrade. It's time for an upgrade. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the current situation uh, with my books and things okay so please don't mind the shoe mess like i said it has not been the most functional way to sh to store anything <laughs> pretty much 
and I have like shoes here. I have this like little lap fold out desk. Um, and then I have like books under it and they're not even piled nicely is the thing. And then yeah, more here. And then I have the printer on top of this little thing, which I didn't want to use this as like a printer stand initially when I bought it. I wanted to use it for its purpose. Like I wanted to be able to just use this on my bed when I wanted to, or if I wanted to work on a couch, um, I could have a flat surface to work on if I just didn't want to be like in my office space for the whole day. I wanted to have this to just kind of take with me wherever I go um, in the house. So that's the current setup. And we also have the Blu-ray player on there. It's very dusty. I'm going to clean that. Um, so yeah, also getting a new desk. This is very small um, to like, first of all, share. Because, I mean, we can't work on it at the same time. Like that's for one. So we're always... We have to like take turns using the desk, which is a little frustrating just because I like to, it's nice for us to have our own space to do our work because most of the time when he's doing work, I'm doing work. So yeah, it's just going to be all around just much more functional and practical to have a bigger desk for me and then he can have his own desk in his room. So this says that I don't need tools, but I'm not really able to push these in without like hitting them. So I'm going to use a tool. Okay, so what I thought would happen kind of happened. It's not like terribly bad. And I'm going to attempt to fix it, but this is supposed to be smooth and <laughs> I basically put that side of it on backwards. So I'm going to, or not backwards, it's actually like upside down. Like this piece needs to be upside down. Um, it's like flipped. I don't know. It just needs to be fixed and I know how to fix it. Um, just not explaining it the best right now. So we have a party to go to. Um, one of Ezra's friends from school has a birthday party and we're going to that. And then I believe I'm going to my parents' house after that for dinner. So I'll probably get back to this either tonight or tomorrow. I'm gonna say tomorrow most likely either way you'll see it so just a little update on that <laughs> other than that it's pretty much done and then this goes like in the back oops like behind here kind of like completes completes the thing so yeah almost done so we are planning to go to the snow today. I like how we just call it the snow. A place where there's snow. Um, I really want to go to Wrightwood. I have not communicated that yet. Nick is out working right now. Um, so we shall see. Um, the thing is, we do plan to move somewhere eventually where we just have snow where we live so that we don't like have to drive kind of far. I mean, it's not too far. For reference, we're in um, Los Angeles County. We're not in the city of Los Angeles, but we are in Los Angeles County. And the snow really isn't that far, like finding snow really isn't that far from where we live. Um, I'm grateful for that. We, we're only like maybe 40 minutes away from like the nearest snow top 
mountain <laughs> snow. Um, so yeah, it's really not that far, but I would prefer to just like be in it when I wake up in the morning during, you know, these seasons. So yeah, we're going to go there today. I'm also, before we go, while he's working, I want to finish building my bookshelf. I'm going to see if I can, I really don't think I could fix the other one because of just the way like the screws work. They're not even screws. Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Um, but yeah, I want to build the shelf and then I got my desk in the mail as well. So I'm very excited to just kind of like refresh the space and like create a lot more organization and structure to the space. Um, because if my space is like unorganized and messy, my mind is unorganized and messy. So yeah, as within, so without gonna work on, yeah, just keeping things more uniform <laughs> and organized um, as much as I possibly can without stressing like about it. So that's the plan. Um, I just made my bagel. I'm gonna make my matcha. This is a fresh batch of milk I just made this morning. And I decided that the next time I make it, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it because it's really, really easy and affordable and delicious. It's time for the second one. We already made a mistake with the first one so we know what not to do. This one. <laughs> this is just how we learn, which is fine. Okay, for this part, I remember. I totally forgot to film myself putting my books in there, but there it is. There's the one I messed up on and the one that I didn't mess up on because I learned first time.
knocked it. It knocked right into here. And it didn't fall. That's just hilarious. Like, that's crazy. I'm scared. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Walking in the snow is tiring. My face is so cold. So pretty out here. I love it. It also smells really good. It's like all the pine, pine needles. You can actually make tea out of this stuff. Pine needle tea. <laughs>